save those icons. Yes. Thanks for the tutorial again, game. Hello and welcome back to Driver Parallel Lines. Um, before I do that, Brooklyn, which is sort of a mix between a. Uh, do I not? Right then. A mix between a uh, Dodge Dart and a uh, Mustang. First generation, one of the 60 ones. Hey man, Slink here. About that opportunity. There's a set of wheels to my name beached up in Hunts Point. Go collect it and fix it up. Consider this your interview. Consider this your extended tutorial. Yeah, you should also be able to hear things now. Wheelman, collect the wreck. Right, let's get it back to phrase, fix it up. Take it for a spin. Let's get in this. But yeah. Nice mix of. Uh, also, it has a 5 liter V8 engine. I can guarantee you one thing it ain't Chevys that are associated with 5 liters. Anyways, we're, uh, we're now doing a pickup mission. Not a have to drive a pickup, we have to go get a car and pick it up. Not sure why I'm so cautious. This ain't my car. Though, uh, whoever it is, it, they're gonna be pretty damn confused. Look, iPod, iPods aren't gonna be a thing for a couple <laughs> decades, so, uh, you have no excuse to hear me honking. Also, this is your ride slick? Like, how would you let it get to this? By the way, Buick Riviera. I'm not braking because I'm pretty sure I don't got no brakes. Also, you're homeless people. Why should I care about your opinion? You know what? Yeah, let's see if we can do a cool thing. We couldn't do a cool thing. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, let's get a different Buick Riviera. This is a uh, boat tail. Well, nicknamed a boat tail. It's not actually what it's called. It's a Buick Riviera. Or I could just be messing it up with a different Buick, but. I have a book about old uh, American cars. Uh, I think I might need to read it a bit more. Yeah. Also, uh, turn down the graphic fidelity from very high to just high, and I think that sort of helps out the game. Mainly, you're probably not going to be able to see it too much. And frankly, I don't see it too much. It still does good. Right, let's not put this into a drink again. Like, I know we were close, but... I prefer not to. Right. See? They just phase in into existence alley. Whoop. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh overdoing the uh, power slides a couple. I want to show you how things work around here. This is where the magic happens. Yep. Up here is where we keep track of current vehicle conditions like heat, damage, and any nitro that you've got. Over here is where we deal with the vehicle characteristics like handling, acceleration, and top speed. You also get the vehicle name here and what you got to spend on it here. Right. Let's start by putting this heap of junk back together. I guess this is... We have uh, Ray Dollars, or Ray Bucks, because, uh, anyways, uh, one little note, uh, the game doesn't tell you where the name of the car is outside of uh, this area, also you have to pay for repairs regularly. I know you're good, but it will happen, so listen up. If you can make it back here without a tail, I can clean things up. Give it a try. 
We need to get rid of the cheese pizza in the trunk. But, yeah, I sort of wish they took the uh, name of the car from uh, GTA when you get in. But, or, uh, when you get into a car, it gives you the name like in GTA. Yeah, that's the proper way to say that. Let's get rid of the cheese pizza. Okay, good. So now we got something that's not going to fall apart on you. I know Slate, though, and he's going to want to see a bit of style, too. So I got just what you need right here. Fuzzy dice. Spare parts lying around, and since you caught me on a good day, you can have one for free. Just this time, take what you want. Tinted glass. Black out your windows with tinted glass. Cool. I'm not gonna take the bulletproof tires. Okay, kid, that's enough. I got a business to run. You want more? Oh, it's only one. Shut it's up, Ray. House. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's jazz these wheels up. I got the best range of paints huh. in town, so pick your color. All right, we can do beige, brown, green, blue, off white, and black. But let's let's mess around with the RGB. Hmm. Pink? Nah. Let's get a nice sky blue. Okay, kid. You can always change your mind later on. I also know a guy who does custom paint jobs, some real psychedelic stuff. But he's out of town today. Convenient. You've done well. That's a sweet ride you got there. I'm impressed. You got an ear for the technical stuff, though. Slick is gonna want a fast car, so we have to tune this engine for more power. You're gonna be doing plenty more of power cars in this garage. You can keep your wheels here, and I'll keep a log of the work you do. If you bust your ride. I'll tow what's left of it back for you. You can drop by any of my places to pick it up. Yeah, I know. I'm too good to you. You know, for an ex-wheelman, he's good to see you, man. pretty fucking profitable. Well, this makes you wonder why he became a wheelman in the first place. It's just baby blue. You bet. We gonna be talking on that? We gotta stay in touch for a little while, kid. See, I need to know you got the expertise I'm requiring. Three of my guys have themselves speed guns, yours truly procured from the city police. At first, you gotta hit 60. At the second, 70. And at the third, I wanna see you hit at least 100. You got the balls to do that, kid. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, I drive 100 basically everywhere, so. I put this Buick through its paces. It is a Riviera. I think this one is uh, 63, whereas the other one is a 68-69. Not that I'm complaining. Like, Bukes don't get enough love. Yeah, I'm doing 100. Who are you? Yeah, those hopefully don't come up too often. Uh, yep. Forgot that I gotta use the uh, stick. Right. Down this way. Pushing two t 110. <laughs> Certainly not 210. Well, maybe in kilometers. But this is America, 1976, I think it was. Where the only measurement was imperial. Or standard. Not so standard nowadays. Not quite. We don't have a parade of cops after us. Right. Now, up here is a nice little officer of the law. Let's avoid him. 
Nothing illegal here, officer. CB. Right. Look, I'm not a New York native, and I'm pretty sure it's changed over the years. So... Uh, yeah. So just get up to the main road, stick on it, and... Lights up jumps! Yep. Huh. Yeah, now the map auto rotated to your orientation. Neat, I guess. I think the tires might be rubbing something. Okay. Since we got a little bit of a souped up ride on our hands. I'm gonna see if I can't make that jump. And potentially uh, risk putting uh, this in the drink. Out the way, doing evil can evil shit. It's not going to make it. Well, watch for that. Where's the jump button? And okay, I have a button that just makes him spaz out. Could take the motorcycle. Thankfully, the car is saved, so. Taxi! This is obviously a classic uh, checker marathon. Well, could be something else, but that's obviously what they're going for. Where is it all gonna go? Gun Alright. And just to sort of show off the this. Yep, here's our Serrano. There's our ADAC. Yeah. Pairs a bit much, so. And that's getting our wayfarer, and uh, move on. I'll, uh, not sure how long I've been going. Should set up a timer of some sort. But we did a mission. We crashed another car. I think we're good. Uh, I'm going to check on this recording, and uh, yeah. Hopefully, OBS doesn't.